In this video, I'm going to show you some alternatives to Midjourney, which you can use to create awesome art. And the first tool we have is the Bing AI Image Creator. And this is by far my favorite among all of them. I think this is a very simple tool, but yet it gives you amazing results. Don't believe me, just write some prompt. Let's say I want a Disney princess. Now I have given it a really generic prompt. You can go ahead and customize it up to your needs or create your own one. You can even use ChatGPT to write you awesome prompts, which then you can use on these AI image generators to get awesome results. And here, even with a very simple prompt, we have yet gotten elegant results. If we have a look at this image, you can see there are a lot of details. Like the girl has red hair. It is in the Disney style. And of course, we have a magical sort of background where there are some magical objects. I don't know what they are called, but, but you can clearly see them there. And in this image as well, we can clearly see some sort of a magical appearance of a castle in the background. And we have the princess up front here. And this is pretty much how you use this tool. Not a lot of complex things going on around here. You open up the website and you have a nice place to write your prompt. You click on the create button and then you have your images right here. You're given 14 credits daily. So if you run out, you can come back tomorrow to create more of them. And on the right panel, we have this option to change the appearance to light mode or dark mode. Up next, we have Leonardo AI. If we head over to their website, we have this sort of a page where if we click on the launch app button, you will be able to sign in or sign up. If you don't already have an account, since I have one, I'm going to be directed towards this page, which is their image creation dashboard. On the home page, you will see a lot of cool arts generated by other people using this tool. So you can take an inspiration or example. You can even click on one of these images and create with them by tapping on the remix button or with generate with this model. And you can also copy their prompts from here. There are prompt details. Now, if we go back here, we have this option called image generation. If we tap that, we will be brought to this page here where we have an option to describe our prompt. For example, I'm going to write here, I need a Pixar style character, which is holding a light lamp standing in the street. And now you have the option to select a custom model. You can also have your own one if you want to create a model, but we're going to use one of their own because they give us best results. Now, in my opinion, I think Leonardo Diffusion XL is the most outstanding one between them all. But you can try them and see which you like more. I think the Aldo Base XL is also decent. It's all about your preference and what you see. So now if we click on the generate button, we will be charged with 8 tokens. And if you look to the left, there are 150 tokens which you are given on a daily basis. And slightly underneath that, you have the option to select the number of image. And right now we are on 4, so we have 4 images generated right here. And you can see these all look absolutely nice. Like I said, this is another amazing tool which you can use to create free art and you don't have to pay anything and it still gives you awesome results. Like just look at these images and how clearly they match our description. I think this one looks really pretty as well. Let us know down in the comments what do you guys think about this. And up next what we have is Playground AI. If we go to Google and search Playground, we have this website. And open the first link which you see here. You have the option to get started for free. Tap on that and then you can continue with Google. I'm going to click that. And once you have created your account, you have to click on the login button so you can get to this page. And like Leonardo, we have sort of a home page where you can see the arts generated by other people. And now we have this create option on the top right here. If we click that, it will bring us to their canvas page where we have a lot of options. We can set the dimensions of the images, for example, their width and height, and we can select the model. Right now it is selected Playground V2. You also have the option to choose between Stable Diffusion XL and 1.5. I'm going to keep it at Playground because this is their default version, because this is a default AI and you can assume this is the best one. Then you have the option to write your prompt here. I'm simply going to copy the prompt from Leonardo AI and paste it here. So you can differentiate between the results and how they perform. On the bottom, we have this generate button. So if we tap that, it will start creating the image for us. Unlike Leonardo, it only can generate one image per prompt. Meanwhile, there you can have as much as eight of them. So that's the difference. 
but if you have a look this looks absolutely beautiful this ai is amazing as well and we have this action button right here if we tap that we have the option to edit copy link edit in canvas if you don't know canvas is a editor which you are given in this tool as well as leonardo where you can edit this image as well and then you can download this image or you can even use it in InPaint and a lot of other options the most important one here is upscale by 4x so if you think the resolution of the image does not match your needs you can also upscale it and have a higher quality image well that was it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed watching consider leaving a like and subscribe thanks for watching